Hi, I'm back with a video of Ukpo Wetland in Changyong, Gyeongsangdo Province. Ukpo Wetland has 140 million year history of mysterious nature. Let's travel to the oldest and largest inland wetland in Korea. The travel starts from Ukpo Eco Center and we can come here by bus from Yongsin Bus Terminal by Changyong Bus Terminal. Refer to the bus timetable. The map shows some places to visit near here. There is also information for restaurants and accommodation. There was no admission fee. I felt good whether free admission is temporary or not. Ukpo is almost the only place where we can experience rowing a boat, so I was attracted to it, but can I do that? Now, let's go! Not long after I started, I faced two ways, and I decided to go to the right. Now, I can see a wetland with water plants. I followed the way to Singmyeonggil as the sign leads. Upo wetland, that is the home and shelter of many animals and plants, reminds us that we are part of the nature. Because of a lot of water, it seems like a lake rather than a wetland. I followed the way to I followed the way to Chumete Bang Bank and Forest Visit. I am supposed to go to the left, but I saw a sign to Eco Experience Center to the right, so decided to go there and come back. I see a fruit that I have seen when I travel to the south. The right one looks like an apricot. It's only 600 meters to go to the experience center. The fruit appears again and I look at it closely and find out it has scary thorns. This is the first to see such big and strong thorns. I picked one with curiosity. I even tasted it. It is full of seeds, so I tasted just juice. It tastes sour like lemons but sweeter. Its extract is in market these days. Soon, I can see the Eco Experience Center Park. The Queen's tray is in two. Waterside Park is made nicely. At last, this is where we can ride a rowboat. I'm getting nervous. This is where children experience catching fish and shellfish. The package experience, including riding a rowboat, is 10,001 and applicants should be over 20. Just riding a rowboat is 5,001 and individual applicant can do it after 3.30 after group is finished. I wasn't sure if I could come back, so I got on a boat just to fill it. I felt excited just on a boat and got scared when the boat was swaying a little bit. 
as it was only Saturday, there was not anyone near me, so I enjoyed peace by myself, taking a video of myself. I leave in a hurry, though I don't want to, as I have to finish looking around and come back by 3.30. Ancient tombs look nice and are near the bus terminal. It's not too far from here, so worth visiting. Canola Flower Park at Nakdonggang River seems good to visit in spring. I envy this fisherman. I should come back and write it nicely like this. This is the perfect place for children. Wow, this is the real dock for ferry boats. This is where the village festival is held and a movie was filmed. I want to live in this village, at least for a year of four seasons. I come out in a hurry and arrive at a small village. I follow the sign and go out to the forest. This is the very mulberry tree that bears delicious berries and is good for health. I can't recognize it, so I take a video of it. This is an Indian strawberry that is considered poisonous. I wanted to eat it whenever I saw it as it was pretty. However, it turned out to be good for health. I tasted it a little and liked it. I'll pick the next time I see it. Both leaves and berries can be eaten fresh, so I'd like to make a salad with them. This is Upo wetland, look down from the second observatory. Seeing close, it looks more beautiful. Oh my, I should have returned, but I went forward, so I had to walk one kilometer more. It has rained recently, and stepping stones are underwater, so I can't cross it, which results in more walking. When old trees are seen close, they must be awesome. Still, they make mystical scenes. Upo water runs like a river, and big and old trees by it look mystical and show its old history. Over the bank, full of reeds, Jokjipper mouth is thin. This is a swaying bridge. Though it sways very little, it's still scary. As I walked almost four and a half hours, my legs hurt. But on this wooden bridge, I felt comfortable and free. It's common to see persimmon trees in fall, but this is an orchard where only persimmons are grown. This is the first time to see a persimmon orchard. They pick a lot of them and sell to visitors. It took so long to finish walking that I missed the chance to ride a boat in the end. But I couldn't give up, so I decided to go and try again. Experiencing a rowboat will be in the second video of Upo Wetland. It'll be a more fun video, so keep watching. This is delicious food called the Poki that I had at the big and famous Westgate Market in Daegu in the evening. This white and chewy rice cake and red spicy sauce were so good that I want to try cooking the same one. This dried one looked like the fried radish. I was looking for something for dinner and interesting thing was that most people were eating kaozeri at this big market so I ordered it too. It has half noodles, half ham cold dog pieces. It is a hot, chewy, delicious and chip. It is only for thousand won. It was and still is food for the humble class but it is a specialty now. I got guided by mob mentality. Thank you for watching. See you in the second video of Road Boating. Please subscribe, like, and share.